it had to be then with another Sifu video today. We're looking at Kuroki, uh, the boss in the museum. The first thing we're going to have a look at is after defeating these two fellows over here, you should get your weapon. My weapon of choice is always the baseball bat. We're going to take the lift up. Uh, let me cut this so I'm not boring you. And here she is. Is she's quite difficult to fight as if you don't have a weapon and you block since she's using a cutting weapon um, that damage will go straight through so you can you can fight this in two ways one was how I've just done it you wait for the combo to be over you dash in and then you take a few pot shots uh, such as this um, that would take a little bit longer or you can do the higher risk higher reward way of doing it which would be um, to parry some of those hits that will contribute to her posture breaking um, but it's quite a little bit riskier um, as you if you don't time your parries well or if your posture runs too low uh, you might uh, take a little bit more damage than you would like to um, I know after you've gotten here, you've defeated Fajar and you've defeated Sean. Uh, they are very sort of close contact right on your face uh, bosses, but Kuroki has such a long range, like a lot longer than what you've got. Um, so you do need to respect that quite a bit. One good thing about Kuroki is that when she starts her combo, uh, you're still kind of out of her range, almost as if she expects you to be walking in her direction. Uh, so it's quite easy to, to stay fairly safe. Um, from time to time, after she's away, she'll do this attack, with, where it's just a kind of a, a flurry of vertical strikes. Um, you can get the parries there. The timing is very um, evenly spaced. So after a few times getting hit by it, uh, you'll thank her when she does it, as that will bring her potion down by quite a lot. Quick recap before the second phase. Parries for high risk, high reward. Uh, if you're not that confident, stay out of range until she finishes her combo. Go in for maybe two heavy attacks. It takes longer, uh, but it's almost risk free. Right, let's get to the second phase a lot faster and I find it to be a lot easier when she does this combo she's got the parries all evenly spaced a dodge with a kind of drop kick a few hits and let me put this on slow motion when you see her take her distance and she'll either do kind of a couple of dashes each way um, kind of ready her little kunai or whatever that is you see a small glimmer of light uh, give it a second, it will come there and she'll come with a super high speed dash and you can try to parry that. Uh, once you start getting the timing right, um, th this is a great move, something that you'll be looking forward to. Um, but when she readies that, you're looking for the light and react on the light. If you wait for her to come to you, uh, you're not giving yourself enough time. Carry on with the fight. Uh, try to use your focus moves as soon as they come up, uh, otherwise you're just opting out from damaging the boss. Um, remember, parry the near combo, dodge the drop kick, wait for the light and get a parry there when you can. Um, this combo is repeated a lot. Um, you'll see it and you'll get used to sort of its um, spacing. Another move that can be quite tough as it doesn't give you a lot of time to react on is this sort of jump and uh, when she throws her kunais at you. I can't say much, this is just a lot of practice. When you see her going up, just ready so you can sort of parry to grab and then you can immediately press uh, one of your attack buttons to throw it back at her. Um, once you get this timing right, this is just free damage, but if you find yourself to continuously struggle with it, um, you can also just avoid to the side. Um, keep an eye out as normally when she's at this distance, she'll close it with one of those uh, attacks that we talked about 
where she will do the dashes to the sides, flash and come in, uh, inviting you to parry her. Rinse and repeat, and that should be Kuroki for you. So, quick recap of the second phase. The kind of short distance combo is very evenly spaced, so parry, wait for the drop kick and dodge to the side. Uh, parry when the light comes or when the jumps up so you can throw the weapon back and that should be the artist for you get ready for the tower uh, once you get to that boss if you're struggling with it just visit the channel back and you see my next video i hope this helped you and if it did uh, let me know let me know in the comments let me know by liking or subscribe to see some more and hopefully i'll see you soon bye